Hi everyone, I'm Jake with JP Audio, and I'd like to tell you about some of the best Waves plugins to consider for mixing music, post-production audio, and sound design in 2023. Waves has been in the spotlight recently because of their controversial decision to go subscription only, but soon went back on that decision after the negative response from the community and creators. Whether you love their plugins or not, nobody can deny that there are many unique and essential tools that few other plugin companies offer. Now that Waves plugins are back on the market for individual purchase, let's talk about a few of those and how they can improve your productions and sound design. First off is Brower Motion, an innovative tool for adding movement and depth to your mixes. It was developed in collaboration with multiple Grammy award-winning mixing engineer Michael Brower, and it's designed to simulate the way he creates spatial movement in his mixes. The plugin features up to four different motion generators, each with its own settings for speed, width, and distance. You can keep it simple or go crazy with the panning options, but you're always left with a unique result. The Brower Motion plugin can be used on any track and can do wonders for a dry sounding synth or creative sound design applications. Center is a great plugin for enhancing the mono compatibility of your mixes and controlling your stereo image. The plugin features a phase correlation meter that displays the amount of correlation between the left and right channels as well as a center width control that allows you to adjust the width of your center channel. I use center all the time to control a stereo music track so it doesn't overpower dialogue. It's a must have for any post production engineer who wants to ensure that their mix translates well across different playback systems. There are a ton of Waves plugins that emulate the sound of classic compressors, EQs, and channel strips. In my opinion, these types of plugins usually have better sounding alternatives from other companies, but there's one channel strip plugin from Waves that is definitely worth having in your toolkit. Number three is the Sheps Omni Channel, a powerful channel strip that was developed in collaboration with mixing engineer Andrew Sheps and features a range of different processing modules, including EQ, compression, saturation, and de essing. The plugin also offers more advanced control over processing than your standard channel strip, as well as having the ability to drag and drop the modules to have your ideal order of processing operations. You can even add an instance of any other Waves product as its own module in the plugin. The Sheps Omni Channel is a versatile plugin that can be used on any track in your mix, and it's a great option for post-production engineers who want a comprehensive toolset in a single plugin. Number four is not a plugin, but the whole Renaissance bundle, because that's how great all these plugins are. There's a reason people are still using these plugins, and it's because they sound great while being quick and easy to use. The standout for me is R-Comp, which I've used for years mixing dialogue and voiceover, but I also love R-Vox and R-Bass. The whole bundle has been updated with a more modern UI, but you could always toggle it back to the legacy look. Last but not least, number five is one of the newer offerings from Waves aimed at isolating vocals and voice in noisy recordings. Clarity VX is trained by millions of hours of audio and powered by advanced machine learning, making this a great one-knob alternative to more advanced software like Isotope RX. This plugin is great for preserving a vocal and removing its less-than-ideal recording environment or even isolating post-production dialogue and podcast audio without degrading the fidelity. As a longtime user of Isotope RX, I was surprised by the great sounding results with one knob ease of use. There's even a more efficient mode to use on many tracks of dialogue for post production. Even though there's a ton of plugins and companies out there with increasingly aggressive marketing, even decades old Waves plugins have stood the test of time and are still used in pro mixes every day, both in music and post production. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and which Waves plugins you're using in your workflow. Please like this video and subscribe to JP Audio for more weekly audio how-tos, demos, and reviews. Thanks for watching.